Hello, in this short tutorial I will show you how to set up your network using uh, the network tools on the MDCX. Uh, the network setup you can access it with this icon down here and in the first step we go to information. You see if you connected your LAN cable and your ARCnet cable to the mirror head you can see the IP addresses of this both uh, devices. You see on the ARCnet interface on the MDCX by default it's 2002. This is a ARCnet specific network device address. Uh, my recommendation don't change your ARCnet network ad address unless you know what you're doing. So don't touch the ARCnet. The LAN device, uh, the LAN interface, sorry, does have the IP address uh, you can see here. And this is the default uh, address uh, which is set up when the MDCX system, MDCX1 or MDCX2 is shipped. So you can always connect with this IP address to your MDC system using remote desktop or MDC touch. This is default. But what if you want to connect the MDCX to your local network, uh, which has some different IP address range, or you just want to do Wi-Fi connection with the onboard Wi-Fi of the MDCX, I will show you. We close this now. And first, um, let's assume we want to connect with the LAN cable. Uh, make sure your LAN cable is connected to the back of the MDCX system. We go here and first we go to edit just left mouse button click and hold go to edit and you see here LAN, ARCnet and a Wi-Fi this was already set up please ignore the Wi-Fi for for now we I said before ARCnet don't touch so let's go into LAN edit and then we go to IP uh, version 4 settings and here you have you see it's on manual and this is the default IP address which I told you before now we change over to DHCP which is commonly used in your in, in a local network if your MDCX gets the IP address from the local server or router. So all we have to do is change it to automatic, click save, close. Uh, now you have to disconnect your LAN cable. So just disconnect it for a few seconds. I'm doing this right now, you can hear it in the back. I disconnect it for at least 10 seconds and then I reconnect it. And you get the message that it was disconnected and now you see here the message it's connected okay and if I go back here now click here and go to information you see land default device does have a new IP address this was assigned by the DHCP server on our network here good so I have this IP address let's check if I connect to the int can connect to the internet I go to internet web browser and let's go to www Google AT. Well, okay, nope, don't want to translate. I'm on the network. Well, nice. Okay, so what if we want to do it with the Wi Fi? Okay, for this, I disconnect the LAN device. So I remove the LAN cable in the back. Okay, now it's removed. After a few seconds, uh, you will see disconnected internet network. And if I go to information here, I will see there's just ARCnet. So in the information, you only see connected devices. So no LAN cable, you cannot see the connection. Only ARCnet to the mirror head, which is above me, is connected. So now we go to Wi-Fi. Make sure enable Wi-Fi back down there is checked. And if you see all the local network uh, connections that are uh, possible here we have Tetzelworm that's our local network here I go to Tetzelworm and I've already assigned the, the password for the network so you don't have to do that uh, every time so I did it before and there's a, a dialogue normally which shows you to connect so we are now connected over the Wi-Fi and here you see the, the, the range uh, the, the, the signal strength of the local network so this icon here changes and we go back, we go to information, and you see, ARCnet and Tesselworm. Now our default connection is Tesselworm of the local IP network. And of course, again, we can go to web browser and go to www. This time we go to GitHub and okay, we are on GitHub, so fine. 
or we go to my favorite website, of course, Dynamic Projection Institute. So check out this website. We always have new products and new things and new compatibilities for new projectors and new dynamic projection tools. Okay, so I hope it helped and have a good day and see you next time. Bye-bye.